Hey guys, Daz Tech here, and I'm um, just doing a quick video while I edit a load of stuff this week because I've got two videos being edited. And this is a little spoiler, I guess, for what um, I'm getting in my new show because I picked this up while retro game hunting. I'm not saying how much I paid for it, I'm not saying the value of it, I'm not saying where I got it, that's all going to be in the video. But I just want to tell you that it's valuable and quite rare. So pretty much I have, haven't have played this yet, I've just literally picked it up after, you know, getting it home from Retro Game Hunting, what an excellent day it was, but um, I got this in the box, quite rare and valuable, and this is my first Pong clone that I got, and I think Pong clones are pretty cool, but I've never played this one yet, um, so I'm just going to test it out, you know, see how it works, but I'm going to do kind of a quick review of it as well, and um, Basically, an 80s family, or 70s family actually, on the screen playing some colour games on their uh, TV there. And if you look closely here, the girl that's playing with a controller, it's not even the same controller that's on the thing there, I've just noticed that. And her mum doesn't look too happy to be there. And then the boy doesn't have it as well, and the dad looks a bit like Chuck Norris, I'm sorry. You know, like old school Chuck Norris from the Atari 2600 game box, or was it ColecoVision? I think it was Kalika version. Anyway, I digress. So, um, pretty much this here. It looks pretty swanky. It's the Binus Own Color TV Game Mark 10 with 10 high definition TV games on push button controls. So, pretty much the box front looks like that. The side of it is pretty basic, just a bit of information. Um, just says there's 10 separate games and that's that's about it that's all you got with it there's um no instructions with this one i don't know if it originally came with instructions but uh that's about it so here's the console i'm not showing you yet i'm just gonna pass by out and let's just chuck this box to the side i'm just doing this review on the whim because i've got a lot of work to do and it's just gonna be pretty simple and unedited and all that crap i reckon it's gonna go up tonight anyway and tonight is february the 27th but anyways here's the pong clone the controllers are detachable from the system. They just pop right out, and they don't they don't connect inside here. They have these weird um, div switches, I think they are. They're, they're just some some kind of weird connector right there. So uh, yeah, and they plug right into where is it? Just here. It's kind of hard to line up because you can't see in the front and. So I'll plug in and then you can just sit it in here waiting to be played and so the c control sticks are actually quite accurate and nice um, they're made of metal as well just on the bottom here if you can see that corner just like yeah you can just making sure because I'm not sat in front of the camera at the moment and uh pretty much basic two player pong set I've wanted a pong console for a while so I thought fuck it why not while I saw it in Plymouth while I was there retro game hunting Oh god, I can't wait for you guys to see it because we had a really good day. I'm going to smell like a lady for the rest of the day now because I've got a load of really cool stuff. I can't wait to have that like, edited and stuff for you guys out to see. So, um, I don't have anyone to play this with me, but uh, I'll try and play it by myself, I guess. See if this will go in. Really look, actually, that'd be better. Um, but yeah, I haven't played it at all, so... Uh, Move this out of the way and see what else we got here. So you got a power on and off switch here. You got um, speed, slow or fast. I think I went fast. Bat size, large or small. Serve, auto or manual. And there's the manual serve button and the reset button. So target one. I guess these are the game modes that you can play. I want to play tennis because you know that's a pong machine type thing. So I'm just gonna plug this into my TV here. So, get you up and looking up at that. This is my honest to god first impressions when I get this playing. So, uh, I'm gonna zoom you in on my TV there. Yeah, because I don't have a proper way to record this. Sorry about the gorilla kind of stuff there. I can't be bothered to cut anything really in this video. Because it's on a whim and you know, college and all that. So, let's get this plugged in. RF and all that. I would say you better not, not plug in. Not, not, not plug in. And um, the power supply is actually very similar to an Atari 2600. It's the 3.6mm um, screw. And it just plugs into the back. Like so. And so the console is pretty much... Uh, it's, it's an alright design, I guess. 
I quite like it anyway, it's very retro. Which is uh, the theme I want to show you, you know, their sex game reviews. So I've got this plugged in. And the official, the power supply is actually quite light, which was quite surprising. So now we get to play the tuning game. And I love the tuning game. So I tried to do this for my one of my other reviews, so let's turn it on. Oh wow, it beeped. Oh yeah, I forgot the sound comes out of the uh, systems on these, so it does work. Where's um, tennis again? That's tennis. So uh, let's try and find the channel. Oh, I'm pretty close to it already. That's good. It's a uh, auto tune. So once it comes on, I'll speed this bit up if it takes too long. But yeah, once it's on, I'll uh, show you guys it properly. First impressions. Let's uh, let's meet that for a second. So I'm unsure on this. You know what's going on and all that crap because this is my first time using it. And reset the serve. Oh, here's controller one. What's can? Apparently, oh wow, th this is going to be hard. But yeah, all the music's coming out of the uh, the Pong clone, which is quite cool. So I'd suggest having volume down for this. And god, I, I apparently suck. Can't hit it, for fuck's sake. It's, it's like fucking trying to play Atari 2600 Paddle Breakout by yourself, like if you were doing two player. Fucking serve! I hit the button on the console. Let's see how this. See, that one works first time. My uh, first controller is apparently a bit jittery. But yeah, this is quite cool. I love Pong, and uh, this is very, very cool indeed. Can you change the uh, type? No. Let's try Target. What's Target? Reset. It's another. Oh, it's a gun game. All right, so you got to try another. Let me try this. I can't do this with the first controller. It's too jittery. Sorry, I've got messages on MSN. So um, how the fuck are you meant to hit this? I don't know. You meant to hit it somehow. Somehow, come on, get that fucker. The fucker. No, I obviously done more work. So target two. I have no idea what's going on. What the fuck do I, I don't know how to hit it. Just destroy basketball. Basic pong. I guess. There you go. So that's that's basketball. What's grid ball? Ah, oh, this is asshole pong. Pretty much. Oh god. Okay, that's that's quite cool. I'd play this more in depth if it was just more than me playing, you know. Oh, more asshole pong, you know. Just <sighs> asshole pong is just the worst. Oh, what? What ah, the fuck? Anyway, um, let's try basketball too. That's that. Tennis already played. You know, that's basic pong. You got squash and hockey. Now, I'm not going to play all of these, but it's pretty cool system for what it is. And um, I guess this is my mini review on the uh, Binotone Color TV Game Mark 10. I need to give it a bit of a clean up, but yeah, it's a pretty cool system and I do like it. So um, this has been Daztec of. Hello. I'll zoom you out there. Oh, fuck, I look awful. It's been Daztec of Daztec's Game Reviews, and I hope you guys have enjoyed an hour. Catch you guys soon.